afternoon everybody I'm Mike with Omega Survival and I want to show everybody a new take that I've been thinking about for a bushcraft stove so stick with me don't focus her all right so what I'm gonna do for this stove is I'm gonna get one tree um, I'd say this tree is about 20 feet and I'm gonna take it down I want to have green wood for this All right, I carved myself a club, a heavy club, and you'll see why in a minute. First, I'm gonna start by cutting a whole bunch of these. I think they're like two and a half, maybe between two and three inches round. It doesn't really matter. That's not important. But maybe, uh, I'd say maybe about two feet in length. And I wanna cut them all about the same size. In length, ten. All right, I got about half of what I need so far. All right, now what I'm going to do is take each one, and I'm just going to cut a quick spike. point I'd say that's good I'll just do that with all of them that's good all right now I got them all to a point I don't know if I'm gonna need more yet but I got my club I found a spot that's all dirt there's really no rocks and I want to bang it down as hard as I can get it we all the same height that's going to be important so I can cook on top of it all right what I want to do I got the pieces of wood in it I wanted. I didn't need as many as I thought I would. But uh, what I'm gonna kinda do is fill it with big chunks of uh, bark here. I don't wanna stop right there. And I got these huge chunks of pine pitch from the same tree. I actually want to stick that one right there. it down a little there's another huge piece of pine pitch I kind of want to stick that in the middle Okay, now <coughs> I'm gonna get some heavier sticks, a little thicker than my thumb, and just keep packing them in. Wherever I can fit them, because they're gonna burn down anyway. Some might fall out, that's okay.
All right, I'm not gonna be cooking anything at this point in time. I'm just doing this to show you. But here's a 32 ounce steel Nalgene bottle. So my intentions are, I can keep it right there while it's cooking. I could put a small frying pan over it or a small cook pot. But uh, that was my idea. I've been thinking about this for a couple of weeks. I have that piece of pine pitch at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is get my little nest right up to that. I always keep my fire steel tied to my sheath so there's no chance I'll ever lose it. Yeah. This is just uh I'm gonna have to sharpen my knife later. I just hit the wrong edge, but this is really dry street bark, like paper. There we go. It's really good quality pine pitch that I just stumbled across. And I want to go back to that tree in a little while. And I'm actually going to show you because there's a holy grail chunk of fat wood on it that I want to go collect when I'm done here. Catch it nice. I don't even really need that. But just to start it. Now you see why I wanted all green wood to contain it. It's starting to catch on the back side now. So I get that huge chunk of fat wood in the middle also. And if you give it a second, you'll start to see the flames come shoot up like a mini rocket stove. That's what my hopes are here. It's very easy. It took me about five minutes to cut the wood. And Gave them into spikes and pound them into the ground. It's got great airflow and it's self contained. And there goes that second big piece of fat uh, pine pitch catching now. My intentions are to only have to use this for maybe five or ten minutes to boil water really quick or to flash fry something. I might have to modify it in the future and make it a little lower. I don't know, but it seems to be doing okay. 
everything I got in it's really dry. But it seems to be functioning exactly how it wanted it to. I don't know if anyone else has ever done one this way out there. I've never seen it. Yeah, the flames are starting to rocket up through the center now. Here's the front side, it's burning pretty good. It's really starting to catch. I got a stick so I can push down on everything as it burns down a little bit. But it's starting to burn really good now. The flames are coming right up through the center like a rocket. And I really like that. I would probably use this more for a frying pan. It would give me about half hour, 40 minutes of cook time. It's burning really hot. I have uh, no problem assuming that would probably boil water in under five minutes with no problem. I mean, you could even just take a steak and sit it right on top of that just the way it is. You can get a rack and put it over the top. Frying pan. I'm going to try this out sometime down the road and cook on it. And I'll show you all that video too. Holds the 32 ounce now being perfect. I can just keep feeding the wood in through the gaps. See who needs a fancy stove. I made my own. It's working really well. I got a couple of big chunks of pine resin to start it. You can see the video on my YouTube channel, the entire video. But water's about ready to boil. It's been on there for about six or seven minutes. As you can see now, it is burning perfectly up through the center. There's a really great amount of heat. Just the type of heat you need to cook with. You could even put a stone over the top and cook a piece of fish. Which I'm sorry to say I don't have on hand at the moment. You push down a little bit on it. Get some airflow going in there. Getting them center sticks burning perfectly. Here's a good shot. Well, everybody, little Mike with Omega Survival. I really hope you enjoyed watching me try something out new for the first time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thank you all for watching.